I'm Poonam. My husband Aditya and I, we live in Ranthambo. Together we like to grow forests. In 1999, I was working on a documentary film where they wanted a shot of a tiger walking at the edge of agricultural fields and forest. We went to this valley called Badlao to film the sequence. There used to be an illegal stone quarry there. Wood cutting was rampant. We figured out that there were about 25 small farmers. They owned pretty much the entire valley. Most of them didn't really like that land because right next to the forest, they would have insane amount of crop raiding by wild animals. In many cases, they'd lose almost the entire crop. Antumbo National Park was surrounded by ravines, which was sort of the buffer of the tiger reserve. Grazing, wood cutting would happen in the ravines. The population around the park has grown. The ravines have been leveled and converted into fields. Then the grazing shifted more and more towards the edges of the park. Rantamo kind of lost its buffer. So in 1999, we started buying land there and uh, decided to rewild it. You can't create the forest. Let the soil and the bees and the birds do that. In about four or five years' time, we started seeing trees. We have all the native species of Rantumbo's dry deciduous forest. It took us 8-10 years to convince the villagers and convince the panchayat not to cut wood, stop the quarrying too. That showed the results in about 3 or 4 years. Suddenly the hills around our place, which were technically in the national park, trees came up and uh, they became really dense. The National Park is about 300 square kilometers. What I have is about 35 acres, so it's like tiny. Because my land is a long strip between village and the forest, I have effectively blocked for a long distance woodcutters and the grazers access to the adjoining parts of the National Park. It took 20 years, it's not work over, it's still work in progress. Uh, I bought that land because I saw a tiger there. We get offers from people like, take this much karo, give us the land. My wife and I don't own that land exclusively. We own it along with a lot of other animals and birds and plants and things, so the land is not for sale, period. <laughs> 